Sensational. Please pick up the semi-automatic nano-acrylic projectile firearm. Okay. Vielleicht geht's auch erst jetzt gleich los. Ah. Woo! Okay, also offensichtlich soll ich ja wohl dieses Gerät damit schießen. Aber wir können auch andere Dinge treffen, wie zum Beispiel diese Kamera hier. Ich würde es ja theoretisch gerne mal zurücklatschen und der Frau davon mal ins Gesicht schießen und gucken, was da passiert. Aber das lassen wir jetzt erstmal sein. Oh mein Gott, er ist gelb geworden. Okay, jetzt ist er immer noch gelb. Und ich kann auch ranzoomen. Und er hat jetzt hier den Pfeil runtergeschossen. Okay, Andrew. Noch einer. Ah, okay. Aha, wenn man die also beschießt, dann gehen sie da zum gelben Stück hin. Nice. Don't watch me. Don't like being watched. Oh, what is that? Ah, okay. In order to get it away. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I have to paint these yellow and then I can just shoot it and it will go towards the yellow wall. Very nicely done. Okay. So that's actually quite a nice tutorial. So actually, can, I can change the colors of all these walls that don't have a marking yet. Okay, that's probably going to be important later on. We can just paint the walls yellow. That's actually a really bright color and very colorful. Something you can expect from a game named Chroma Gun, I guess. Can't shoot that. Can't shoot that either. Can't shoot that. Sensational. Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. No, I actually have a problem here. So, okay, nice. Uh huh. So if I color both, it will try. To, it will get caught somewhere in between. Okay, this is probably going to be important in order to solve some other riddles later on. Because it is a puzzle shooter after all. So, okay, first I have to color that one, and then, okay. Don't watch me. Okay, now I wouldn't be able to get through here, but I can just color that one and thus move it towards here. Okay, actually, a really nice introduction here. You really get an intuitive feeling for what you have to do without being explained everything in detail. So it's rather you really discovering something. The paint that Chroma Gun fires is a specially developed blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. That being said, do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, actually, okay, and it always flies towards the nearest colored wall it seems and like we said if there are several things colored that way it always tries to fly towards all of them and will then adjust itself somewhere close to all of the painted walls so I could even just shoot this one and now it's getting moved more into that direction okay so like I said, that's really a nice introduction here. Uh, I like this quite a bit. Um, because in a lot of tutorials you just get told to do like this, press A here, press D here, walk over here with a big button or with a big arrow that shows toward a direction. And uh, in this case, you just 
Of course, you're led through the corridors because there's only one way out and only one direction you can go to. And of course, that's necessary at that point in the game because you don't really know what to do and what this is all about. And they just want to tell you everything about the mechanics of the game. But um, and now even you can actually just see, okay, there's... Okay, there is the possibility to just have a look at what's, what you're supposed to do, but you can also just try to figure it out by yourself. And um, it's actually quite interesting that there are so many different didactic methods already implemented into this game, where you can either just try to read everything or you can just try to figure it out on your own. Most of the time you will probably end up doing so because you just won't really... I realize that there's a, an instruction written above the door. But yeah, like I said, I really like that it's implemented that way. Bam. Okay, get out of my way. Okay, there we have some yellows. Is there something I can write? I can actually do that. Maybe you can do that. Does that... Okay, it doesn't really... Interestingly, it doesn't... Obviously, it's too far away, it seems. So let's have a look if this works. Okay, obviously it doesn't. Okay, so now they move... Okay. It's problematic because this one here just doesn't have all of these. Now we can just shoot it over here. And now they will just re-direct themselves. Okay, quite nicely done. Mm -hmm. Okay, just shoot over here. Get this colored. Okay, no problem. Ah, there you have it. Colors can be mixed on canvas. If you paid attention in preschool, you should get the idea. Please find and subsequently step into the trigger. Find and step on it. Okay. Sensational. Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Well, okay. I think I will just have to paint this one over here. So it'll take my place. Sensational. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droid. That makes you more intelligent. 99% <laughs> of test subjects. 97% okay. of test monkeys. Okay, at least I'm um, a bit better than a monkey. Obviously. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, it seems as if we just have to get this thing over here. So we rather want to shoot something like that. Okay, let's get this done. Shoot this one. Okay. Okay, that was actually the only thing I needed to do. Okay. Nice. Okay, and now in order to... Okay, no, this just... Okay, this just opened. Don't have to solve another riddle. Color attraction. Worker droids are attracted to all nearby walls of the same color and can be suspended mid-air. However, that's not very nice towards worker droids. <laughs> I'm sorry. The attraction that Chroma Guns Paint generate is based on a very complex set of mathematical vector operations. Mm -hmm. So instead of not understanding me explaining it to you, try it out. Yeah, that's that's what I what I what I said before. That I really like this. That um, you it, it's more about trying things out and realizing what's happening by doing so, instead of just being told what to do and what's going to happen. So yeah, like like, like I said, I've I've already just just playing through this tutorial and trying out things on my own because that just applies to my natural. Uh, curiosity it um, has already uh, I already get a good well I've already gotten a good grip or a good grasp of what uh, 
is happening in this game and how it's supposed to work. Of course, uh, uh, this is probably getting a bit more problematic right now. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit more problematic now to get it into the right position. So let's have a look. I think, okay, I can just put it over here. And then maybe just shoot one over there, and it might even already work. Yeah. So that was one possibility. The other one would have been to just, yeah, just shoot opposite walls, and then you get the idea. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, I have to say. That's really an interesting concept of getting players into the game and explaining how everything is working out. And yes, of course, I mean, if you, if you, um, if you program a game using a gun that shoots painted balls to some things and colors them, of course you will always have to stand up to the portal um, comparison. So, but, but I really think that this game is quite different. Of course it's a puzzle shooter as well, uh, but the uh, idea how the puzzles are working is quite different. The more vicious a worker droid looks, the more vicious it is! Who'd have thunk? Okay. So just shoot the camera. Shoot the camera. Okay. It is worth noting that unlike the ones Ooh. you've encountered in the previous no. rooms, the worker droids in this next room Ooh. are not deactivated. Didn't really want to do that. Much like you and me, they do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellets. Please do not disturb them, because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact, due to miscommunication and engineering, they will. Yeah, like I said before, of course there's the portal reference, you will always have to... Okay, it doesn't seem as if I'm supposed to do something right now, in here. Okay, this is actually too far away. Um, yeah, of course you will always get the um, get the idea that this is kind of portal related, but then again, I think the puzzles are quite different from the portal ones. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he doesn't like to be shot at. Okay, should have thought of that. But yeah, I'm actually going to need it over here so okay then you just have to run away from it uh, but once it's located in one position because it's drawn towards that yellow wall it won't be able to come at you anymore no don't look at me what are you doing so 